What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be going over the JBLM problem. This is the problem that comes up in pre-calculus one. So to start, this is clearly a word problem. And it goes, you're flying from JBLM, Joint Base Lewis McCord, a military base in Washington, to an undisclosed location 178 kilometers south and 169 kilometers east. So this secret base or undisclosed location will be 100, 169 points on the x-axis and then down 178 points on the y-axis. That's what it's essentially saying graphically. Mount Rainier is located approximately 56 kilometers east on the x-axis and 40 kilometers south on the y-axis. If you're flying at a constant speed of 800 kilometers an hour, how long after you depart JBLM will you be closest to Mount Rainier? So right off the bat, I'm seeing equations and perpendicular lines and conversions to distance and time and intersecting points. The hard part is getting it started. So once you get it started, it's it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory on, on where to go next. So we're gonna go over it. Um, where my marker? So let's graph it. I'm gonna take this away real quick. So it looks like we're only going to be using the the positive x and the negative and the negative y axis here. So so this is our our starting point essentially. And it's asking us, this is east, this is south. We see JBLM is here. And we want to get to a secret location, 169 east, 179 south, to a spot somewhere out here. 169 east, negative 178 south. And we're flying from the, the base to the secret base here. Secret base. And along this journey, there is going to be a mountain if we're flying this way, there's going to be a mountain on our left, or out of our left window. And it's asking us, at what time, how long after we depart from the base, will we be closest to Mount Rainier? And as it turns out, it, this will be a perpendicular line. So we know that this point, the mountain, is 56 east and 49 south 40 south 40 south and we can see this as a line here essentially and so our goal is to find this point here and then from there we can apply the distance formula and then convert how long it takes us to get from here to here. So this is what we want, that point. How we go about doing this is we find the equations for these two lines here. To start, we can find the equation from the base to the secret base. Um, using the formula slope equals y squared minus y1 over x squared minus x1. We see we have points 0, 0 and 169, negative 178. And we can label these as our x1 our y1 and our x2, y2. So 
So to find the slope, we subtract negative 178 by 0, our y2 minus y1, and then our 169 minus 0, our x2, and x1. And then from here, we can see we have a slope equals negative 178 over 169. So then to find the formula for this line from the base to the secret base, we apply the slope intercept form, formula y equals mx plus b. We choose two points. In this case, let's choose 0, 0, because that's going to be our easiest one to use. So we plug in our 0 for y, our 0 for x, with we know a slope of 69 times 0 plus b. We know these going to cancel out. The slope times 0 is 0, so we know the y-intercept is going to be 0. And so that's telling us our equation is just going to be negative 178 over 169 x, because we have to make it linear. So this is our first equation. Our second equation is going to be a little different. It's going to be the line perpendicular to this line as seen here. How we find this is by simply flipping, finding the reciprocal of this equation, and then flipping the sign. So we'd have a y equals 169 over 178x plus b. And then how we find this y-intercept is by plugging in these coordinate points here, 56 and 40, because these coordinate points land on this perpendicular line. And that can help us find the equation for it. So we can do 40 equals 169 over 178 times 56, negative 56, sorry about that, or sorry, negative 40, silly, positive, there we go, let's clean that up real quick, times 56, plus b, Using our calculator, we can find that 169 times 56 over 178 all right, equals about 53.1685. And let's convert that to a frac, or no fraction here in this case. So we have negative 40 equals 53.168. And let's try to keep these values as close as possible until we um, simplify at the end. So we subtract 53 across, across. And uh, when I do so, I'm going to use the whole, the whole decimal, the whole 53.1685, so on. So the y-intercept here is looking like negative 93.1685. And that will also give us, like I said, our y-intercept, sorry. Our b is the y-intercept. So... The equation will be y equals 169 over 178x minus 93.1685 and some change. So we're about halfway done. What we found is the equation for this line 
is y equals negative 178 over 169x. And the equation of the line perpendicular to that, that passes through the mountain, the closest point, the closest equation, is 169 over 178x minus 93.1685 kilometers. So just for reference, this is, would be about negative 93. So now what we want to do here is we want to equal these equations to each other. What this is going to do is it's going to give us the value of this x. And then using that x, we can find the value of this y here. And then from there, we can apply the distance formula to solve for this particular point in time. So to do that, we're going to take our equations, negative 178 over 169x, and we're going to equal it to our other equation, 169 over 178x minus 93.1685. We're going to get rid of our x's here so we can, well, we can just, let's add, let's add 178 over 169x over, and then add the 93. And we can just add the 93 over here. Full sloppy, okay. So this is gonna cancel out here. 169 over 178 plus 178 over 169. And so this is going to give us about a 2.00269x. 2 and when we carry that 93 over, that's going to give us a positive 93. So we're going to have about 93. Point 1685 equals 2.00269264x. And then when you divide this, 2.002 over, that's going to give us a, a, an x value. And of course, when I'm dividing these over, I'm using, I'm using the the full decimal in the calculator. I'm just simple. I'm just not writing them co completely out for time's sake. So you'd have erase that negative ninety three divided by two point zero zero two six, and that's uh, getting us our x alone. So we're gonna find our x being. 46.5216. So this value, 46 is about going to be right here. 46. And then by plugging in a, a Y, uh, by, by, um, plugging in this, uh, this X value into one of our equations, we can solve for this y value here so so to solve for y we could just take one of our equations i'm going to take this it looks a little bit easier and solve for y so y equals negative 178 over 169 um, times uh, the 46.52 and so so negative 178 over 169 multiplied 
Bye. Our x value of 46. And so this is going to give us a y of about negative 48.999. So then from here, we're able to solve for the distance of this line here. And our distance formula, in this case, is going to be d equals square root of x squared minus x1, oops, I apologize, subscript, not x squared. It's gonna be square root x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Um, and, th and in this case, we can choose a an x1 value of 0, 0, and a y value of 0, 0, and then we can choose an x2 of 56 and a, and a y2 of negative 40. So I'm going to switch to a different piece of paper real quick. So we have a, a um, solve for the distance here. So we said um, we're going to use our x1 of 0, 0, or y1 of 0, 0. Okay. And then 46.5216 and negative 48.999 for our x2 and y2 that we, that we found here. So we can go off by, well, 46.5216 squared because if we subtract x1, we're just going to get a zero. And then uh, same with the y2. So we can just say negative 48.999 squared. And that's going to give us the distance of this right here. from the base to the closest point to Mount Rainier. Okay. So we can do square root of 46.52 squared plus negative 48.999, and then I'm just gonna take away that negative because anything squared is positive, and I don't want the calculator messing up, so. Plus 48.999 squared. So that's gonna give us a distance of about 67.566 kilometers from the base to this point here. Sixty seven point five six six kilometers. Now, what the question's asking is how long after you depart JBLM will you be closest to Mount Rainier? And how we go about this is going to be well, we're going to convert this into time. So we can take this value here, we can put it 
over 800 kilometers an hour. And then this will get us how many hours it takes for us to get from here to here. And then from there, we can multiply by 60 and then get minutes, which is what the problem's asking for. So we can take this, divide by 800, and then multiply by 60. So we take this value, and that's about 0 0.0844 hours. And then to make that a little bit easier on the brain, we can multiply by 60, and then that'll give us minutes. So it's looking like it will take us 5.067 minutes to get from the military base to the point closest to Mount Rainier. Thank you for watching.